With Christmas and New Year rapidly approaching, it's always a busy time here at Run For Adventure, but it's also a very exciting time because we get to give back to you guys at home, our wonderful viewers, with our giveaway extravaganza, which we've done for the last few years. Uh, if you haven't entered, guys, you've got to be quick. You've got a couple of days to do so, but you really want to get in the mix because we've got some wonderful running goodies from some amazing brands up for grabs. And in fact, it totals about £800 worth of prizes. So uh, you really want to get in the mix guys and like I said you've only got a couple of days to do so and then one lucky winner is going to walk away with that whole prize pot on the 24th of December in our Christmas Eve special. So what I've done guys is I've left a link down in the description below for the video. Go and watch the video, follow the details of how to enter and get in the mix. But it's not just that we get to give back to you guys, we also get to look back at all the great running shoes and the awesome running kit that we've tested throughout the year. So let's dive into the video and follow find out what running kit has made my gear of the year list in 2022. Welcome back to another video folks. Thanks for watching. I'm Lloyd Purvis and this is Run For Adventure. Hope everybody is fitting well out there in YouTube world and training hard. Now, if you followed the channel for any period of time, you'll know that back in sort of January 2021, I went over on my ankle pretty bad road running, stepping up a curb, believe it or not, but I did a proper job of it. I got uh, into working straight away on the recovery with a brilliant sports physiotherapist down here in Cornwall, Paul Coker, and we got back running relatively soon, but it really did take uh, a long time to fully recover from that bad ankle sprain, and I picked up a few niggles and issues along the way because of it, as you tend to after a serious injury. So the first item on our gear of the year list has to be the brilliant Myo Pump from Myo Master. I think these played a big part in that whole recovery process and getting me back to sort of training and racing consistently. Now, I've always struggled pretty bad with poor circulation, especially in my right lower leg due to a couple of bad ankle sprains, but also major hip surgery on my right hip back in 2009. So, you know, my right side is pretty rubbish, if I'm honest. And if my right was like my left, it would be happy days. Unfortunately, it's not. And that's just the way it goes. So all I have to do after a sort of hard training session or a challenging race is zip myself into these bad boys, uh, select the treatment I want, select the duration of that session and then sit back and relax. So it has to be the easiest form of recovery out there. So how do the Myo pumps work? Well, first of all, you need to plug the boots into the control unit, plug them into the mains, flick on the power. Then you need to select the type of treatment you want, the duration, but also the compression level. And you've got a, a big spectrum of compression rates to choose from, depending on how your legs are feeling at that moment in time. And then just hit the start button and the boots will slowly start to fill up with air, compressing around your legs, starting at the bottom, working all the way up to the top, building up the compression level. Uh, it's gonna hold that compression for a while and then it's gonna decompress. And what that whole cycle is basically doing is flushing out all those toxins, all that nasty stuff that you've built up through your training, and then it's replacing it with nice fresh oxygenated blood, which really helps speed up the whole recovery process. Obviously, a kit like this doesn't come cheap and the Myo pumps retail in the UK for around about 600 pounds. But I really do think it was super helpful when it came to that whole recovery process and I don't think it was a coincidence that I started to get back to a lot more consistent training and racing once I started using these three or four times a week so I really do think it helped with that recovery uh, so if you're really serious about your train you're hitting it hard all week you need to recover quick for the next session or you struggle with lower leg circulation like I do then I think the Myo pumps are actually a really good investment now next up is a running shoe and in particular it is a trail running shoe that I haven't stopped going on about all year. It's just taken number one spot in our top five running shoes of 2022, and it is the brilliant Exodus Ultra from Saucony. Now, I'm not gonna go on any more about this shoe because I'm sure you're sick and tired of me talking about the Exodus Ultra on the channel, but it really has been a great shoe for me, and it's got me through lots of trail adventures, including the challenging 97 miles of the TDS at UTMB, 
80 miles straight out of the box at Endure 24, a couple of 50Ks thrown in for good measure, and lots and lots of long training runs. And believe it or not, I haven't had one blister or one hot spot in this shoe at all over them whole 400 miles. And that has never happened to me before in a running shoe. So the Exodus Ultra from Saucony had to make it onto our gear of the year list. Now, I've definitely tested out some great running apparel this year, that's for sure, from channel favourite Say Sky. Recently, we just reviewed a great selection of winter apparel from British premium running brand Soar, and that review definitely stirred up a hornet's nest. But earlier in the year, we also tested out a great selection of kit from French sports apparel specialist Uglo. Loved all the kit, but two items really stood out for me, and it was this great long sleeve, lightweight, technical tee in this awesome tangerine colorway, but also the top performing Aerospeed Elevate two-in-one shorts. The long sleeve tee is made out of some proper plush technical fabric, so super soft and ridiculously lightweight that you can hardly feel you're wearing it at the time. Uh, super breathable, it dries out really quick and it worked really well wearing it under a wind light jacket or a waterproof jacket as a base layer or just running it on its own. The same can be said for the brilliant two-in-one shorts. So again, we've got some super lightweight, highly breathable technical fabrics used. We've got a very close-fitting, comfortable internal short. And actually, both items utilize Uglo's very unique, 100% stitch-free thermo-bonding technologies, giving you that sort of very close-fitting, comfortable, chafe-free feel. So I really think it is a lesser-known running apparel brand that's worth checking out. We've got two items of gear left on the list, and next up is this year's update to my race vest of choice. So it is the super functional, brilliantly comfortable Advanced skin 12 set from Salomon. Now I've run in the last four versions of this vest and every time they bring out a new updated version I always think it's about as good as a race vest can get and I always wonder how they're going to improve on it next time round. They make a, a few tweaks, a couple of subtle alterations, maybe add a pocket and all of a sudden you've got a better race vest and they've done exactly the same this time around with this year's version. I think the extra top stuff pocket you now get is a great addition. I think it works really well for stowing away your waterproof jacket so that you can pull it out when you're on the move. We've still got that very functional one pull closure system that I love and that great handy internal rubbish pocket. The soft flask that the vest comes with now have got a, a slightly wider opening so a lot easier to fill your bottles up for your training run or to top them up at an aid station or if you want to add some electrolyte or tailwind it makes it a lot simpler. As far as storage goes well I don't know how you could better it in a pack of this weight and size. So on the back we've got this huge main compartment with a nice big zip opening very easy to stow all your kit away and it's got a water repellent coating on it so it will bead water for a certain amount of time. And then we got to talk accessible pockets and this is what I love about this vest. Loads of accessible storage that you can get to on the move and that is super important important including these two huge stuff pockets on the front, one either side, you can fit loads of kit in there. Gels, bars, gloves, head torches, buffs, all kinds of stuff. And you really can see where all those years of sort of running vest development Salomon have done have gone into the latest Advanced Skin 12 set. And I'm left in that same place. I don't know how they're gonna improve on this uh, when they decide to update it, but I'm sure Salomon will find a way somehow. Okay, moving on to our last item on our gear the year list for 2022 and I am very happy to say that it comes from a small startup British trail running brand that we've been working with since their early days and we've seen them flourish within that very competitive market space. So it is Harrier Trail Running and their brilliant Havellan Pro carbon fixed length Z poles. Kate actually reached out to the channel and asked if I'd like to test out a pair of their new fixed length Z poles before they were launched and I was just about to head out to Chamonix to prepare for the TDS at UTMB. So Kate was kind enough to send a pair out to the campsite in France for me to test out. Now I've actually used a pair of their adjustable carbon poles before and was really happy with the performance but I do tend to go for a fixed length pole. I just think they tend to be a bit more rigid. You can get a bit more power through them 
tend to be a bit lighter, but also they tend to pack down a little bit smaller and they're a bit easier to stow away on your race vest. The poles arrived just in time for a pretty challenging training run. So we were heading out for 13 miles with 1500 meters of elevation on some pretty technical trails. So I grabbed the poles, headed off towards the trails and on first inspection, I was really impressed with how light they were, uh, the great build quality, but also some really lovely attention to details. And I was really excited to give them a thorough testing. The run went really well and we had some epic mountain scenery along the way. And the poles performance was brilliant. And in fact, they performed better than I could have expected. And I personally think that the new carbon fixed length poles from Harrier are the best product they've made to date. Uh, just great performance, quality manufacturing. So if you are in the market for an update on your existing poles or you're looking for your first ever running pole, then I personally think that the Havellan Carbon Pro fixed length Z poles are definitely worth a closer look. So there you have it, folks. That's all the standout running gear of 2022. And it has been a brilliant year of testing, but hopefully we can outdo that next year and bring you guys even more running shoe and running kit reviews on the channel. It'd be great to hear from you. What do you think about our picks? Do you think we picked some good gear in the list? Or even better, let us know what your standout running items have been in 2022. Is it a pair of go faster road shoes or a nice shiny new piece of of running tech. Tell us all about it in the comments below. Next video on the channel is the big one. It is our Christmas Eve special. So what we tend to do is give you a few facts and figures about our year on YouTube. We're gonna talk about a few of our running highlights from 2022. And then it's gonna be the moment you've all been waiting for where we pick out that one lucky winner at random of our giveaway extravaganza. Like I said, they're gonna be walking away with 800 pounds worth of running goodies. So a massive thanks to all the brands that have been been involved in donating prizes it really is appreciated but you really want to get in the mix guys you don't want to miss out because it could be your name that we're pulling out on Christmas Eve making your Christmas a whole lot better we've got lots of great running content planned for you guys at home over the festive period and we're actually heading up country to my dad's for Christmas so we could be heading towards a park run near you very soon but for now guys Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. It really is appreciated. Don't forget, if you've enjoyed the video, to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Super simple to do, only takes a few seconds and it is completely free, but it really does help the channel out. Don't forget while you're there to hit that bell icon because then you'll be notified when we upload any new exciting content. We'll see you on Christmas Eve, guys. And as always, stay safe and keep on running. Incredible running goodies up from grab. Oh, bleh. Uh, I worked really hard with a great local sports theory, th 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 Thivio, French sports apparel specialist, Uglo. Uh, it was actually the first time they'd, they'd created a cor cor correction. Some kit from British premium running brand Soar, and that review definitely turned up. Turned up? Tur no.